Good morning! Good morning, good morning, good morning, Vietnam. Oh, good morning, Pembroke Pines. Anyway, uh, today, topic is uh, Maestra Mirna Kadang. The only Maestra that I have, the only woman that I consider as my instructress. Okay, so I know if you look at her, she's so young. And you say, why she become your instructor? They say, well, she's about good seven to, uh, I would say, about five to six years older than me. Anyway, imagine if I'm if I start 13 years old, then probably she's already 18, 19. Yeah. All right. Uh, I met her for the first time. Oh, 1975 in Adesi Club with, uh, you know, with the group, Ruben, Orlan, Resti, and all of the maestro that was there. I was actually not going to Adesi at that day. I was walking around Paete with a friend of mine. It just happened that uh, we heard a click, click, clock sound right behind uh, the Catholic Church. So we climb up to the, uh, you know, to the side and we look at it, what is happening. And we saw that they're training our knees. <clears throat> then all of a sudden, I saw my dad walking in. <laughs> I saw my dad walking into the uh, Adesi together with the uh, um, Astro uh, Isco Baguio. And... Uh, and uh, bring uh, kadawas, yeah. They're all compadres. So anyway, I, I said, wow, my dad is there. So I have no clue what my dad's doing there. I know my dad is part of the association of the Paete Arnis Club, but I don't know if that's the one, you know? So anyway, out of curiosity, I went to the front door and then Someone recognized me. Oh, that's the son of uh, Maestro P Piping. So they let me in. And then Maestro Pining was there sitting. And he looked at me and he said, Why don't you join? Then, come on, join. So he handed me a single uh, brookil. And they asked, Orlan, which is uh, Maestro Indu Apungul son, to start showing me the 12 strike, which of modern is. <laughs> so Orlan started me. And then later on that day, I really want Myrna to, to be the one who, who teach me that night. Yeah, you know, I want Maestro Myrna is the one. So, well, the train, for about good three hours, three hours and a half over there. Uh, that was uh, that was eight o'clock when when I went there. It was seven thirty. Yeah, after after dinner, and then um, after one hour, finally, uh, Ruben uh, called his brother, and that's uh, the time that Myrna. Master Myrna, I remember that day. Master Myrna took me and showed me the 12 strike. Yeah, and that's awesome. You have to understand, you know, as a young kid, you know, you have, you have this uh, wish, you know, that to happen, you know. And Myrna's, Myrna is, you know, his, his, her spirit and her enthusiasm to, to teach. He has a very loud voice. You know, and really encouraging tone, you know, to follow her. That's, that's how I, you know, I remember that night, you know. And I don't remember why I keep following her everywhere, you know. I guess uh, because from Adesi, uh, every weekend we have to go to Apaete Elementary School. Uh, we, we teach in... Uh, we teach in uh, Longos Kalayaan Laguna to the uh, group of uh, uh, Irug, you know, so I keep following her everywhere we go. Well, and then uh, even in her house, even we're not in our niece, I follow her in her house, 
you know, at that young age. Even I celebrated uh, either twice or three times of her birthday. You know, I, there's a dance in the front of their house, you know, right in Bagumbayan, you know. And of course, Myrna, you know, as, uh, as age different, you know, we, he just, I'm just hanging out with her. That's it. That's all I, I feel. I feel, you know, I feel like hanging out with her a lot. And Myrna is, was the um, uh, Virgin Mary on the, uh, you know, she played Virgin Mary on the uh, uh, Passion of the Christ, you know, when we, when we go uh, play every, but I'm too young at that time to become a soldier nor, uh, or uh, one of the uh, uh, character. So the characters that who play to the, to the crucifixion or to the uh, Passion of the Christ is my dad, and my two brothers, Rodrigo and Daniel. You know, Daniel is a soldier, and Rodrigo is one of the uh, thieves. <laughs> and my dad is Caifas, you know, the one of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the smart one, you know, the one who, uh, who judges uh, Jesus, you know. So anyway, that's, that's the relationship I have to Myrna. We become very close, and I... Then, especially when we start teaching in uh, in uh, Ermita, then we become uh, closer. Why? Because Myrna start to ask me to teach. You know, that's that's how I start loving to teach Arnis. You know, of course, every kid in Paete seeing me teach, every kid in Paete admiring me. You know, to the to the arts. You know, but not to say it's like bragging. I'm so proud that day, you know, that uh, all of the kids is looking up to me. We did the demonstration in 1980, I remember. There's about 60 or 80 kids, and I'm in right in the front, and we did the demonstration. Myrna and I did a demonstration to many places, you know, together with the, with the group, you know. But uh, that's how my relationship to Maestro Myrna, you know, we, we don't talk much about... Uh, you know, uh, things outside. When we, when we train our knees, we train our knees. And then outside, I don't know what we talk. We don't, I don't remember what we talk about. We just hang out. We don't, you know, I, I go to, your, to her house, hang out to her house, you know, and, and that's about it. We got a, a relationship. That's why, that's why, uh, <clears throat> that's why I, uh, I got attached, you know, to my Esther Myrna, you know. I'm supposed to be attached with Rusty because Rusty is closer to, to, to me in Kinale. But I don't know why I'm seeking Myrna's, uh, Myrna's, uh, I'm seeking Myrna's approval of what I'm doing in our niece. You know, but let me tell you, man, at that, at that time, you know, wow, Myrna was, I think he, she was uh, attacked by, uh, by, this is just, this is a true story. She was, uh, you know, Paete is dark when, when it's really dark, really dark. And one night, you know, Myrna coming home with her, you know, walking to her house. And someone trying to freshly approach her. And Myrna bit her, bit him up <laughs> with her umbrella. <laughs> this is true story, you know. And the one who's talking about it is not, not Myrna. The one who's talking about it is Maestro Pining, Maestro uh, uh, Piping de Masaka. They're the ones telling the story, so I know. So if, this, if, if Maestro Myrna heard this, I'm not the one who tell it. They're the one. I just heard it. I'm just repeating what they said. But anyway, I, I enjoy having, excuse me. I enjoy having, uh, you know, being around with uh, Maestro Myrna and everything, especially when he turned, when she, she become uh, the first woman's black belt of modern East in Paete, you know. Uh, Resty and Hare went to Manila to, to test. And I guess the level of uh, proficiency and level of uh, skill, you know, after going to, through the test, Myrna came home 
you know, she came home with the black belt, uh, you know, in her ways. And Rusty, I think, is brown belt, level brown belt. Ah, not repeating. Rusty is very good instructor too, very good uh, thing. But I don't have much, I don't know, I don't have much relationship with Rusty. Only say, being being a friend of my brother, you know, say hello, you know, and being part of the Payet Ernest Club, you know. So our relationship is since we were kid, you know. Hi, hey. Even though that he's older than me. You know, we still, hey, hey, hello, because we always see each other in the mountain. I hang out with his uh, nephew, you know, so that's what my relationship to Resti. But to Maestra, Myrna, I don't even call his Maestra. I'm only calling now Maestra for out of respect. We call him Mana. <laughs> Mana, you know. <laughs> that's what uh, everybody call her, Mana. You know, short for Myrna. You know, so, and that's how I call her. I don't call her teacher. I don't call her uh, maestra. I just talk to her and I call her like mana, you know. And he called me Garemut. <laughs> Garemut, that's what he called me. She called me like that. And and I know we get attached. And she's, she's telling, if, if you did something wrong, she will tell you. I heard her. <laughs> she has that determination. If she doesn't like you, she tell you she doesn't like you. <laughs> and I love her for that. Why? Because she's real. She's not fake. You know, she she tell, you know, even 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 uh, other master of Paete, so she tell the truth. You know, especially now, oh, again she tell the truth. You know, so that's how I love about uh, Maestra Mirna Hadam. You know, my relationship uh, never end actually to her. Because even though that she got married and have kids, she forget uh, to, you know, to follow, to teach our niece. I know, deep inside, you know, she, she you know, she, she kept that our niece in her heart. I continue and I visit her every time I get a chance. When I go home, when she has only two kids, we went there. Now her kids is like, old grown up you know and the last time we went home I introduced her again to my student and I asked her to teach again because you know I want I want the Arnis to oh by the way she's not only modern Arnis okay she also know Payate Arnis she knows what she's talking about modern Arnis is just part of her front because you know she she, uh, she's the one who started to teach modernism in, in uh, Paete. You know, I'm just a student, you know, of uh, Maestra. Me, Ruben, Orlan, you know, and uh, a bunch of kids, you know. But at, at the, at, at the, when, when everybody now stopped teaching modernism, you know, when we start teaching in ALC, Eastern Laguna Colleges, uh, Mirna get out from the, uh, you know, from the center of the modernist in Paete. I think uh, I also lose a little bit of uh, interest of being part of the teaching group, you know. Uh, eh, needless to say, there's something happened also, you know, but uh, their master opinion is uh, upset to me. For something because I did bad at that time and I, I am not I'm not a saint like I said I'm not a saint uh, so I did things stupidly and I I you know I regret it but I did it so I'm sorry I did it so I got punished for that you know like what what my maestro said if you did something bad you're gonna get punished and uh, we were teaching in our niece in, in Eastern Laguna Colleges. Something happened big. And then I lose that opportunity. He put, uh, he put Neme, Neme, Nemesio uh, Baltimore to teach our niece in Eastern Laguna Colleges. You know, but my question is, what does he know about modern niece? You know, but uh, not to mention um, Neme is no Paete our niece. I'm just questioning 
what does he know about modernist curriculum? You know, he, he, I never see him practice modernist with us. You know, so that's kind of thing. Uh, but that's, it's, it's, I'm talking only out of what happened, not, not, uh, uh, not to put down anybody's maestro. And if I, up to this day, I, I really have no chance of sparring with Maestro uh, Nemi. I know she, he wants to spar with me too, uh, he, because he, he keeps saying it to other people. But every time I come home, somehow he never show up to see me, you know. And so make this uh, video, and let him know that I heard what he said, and I love it. I would love to cross stick. But anyway, no bad blood, no bad blood, you know, just, just uh, saying, you know, everybody's a uh, paete, you know, there's a small town. When you say something, when you talk something about somebody, you know, you meant to let that person know that you're talking about him. And that's how it happened to us. You know, he was talking about me. Anyway, if you guys have a chance, Maestra Mirnakadang is still in Paete Laguna, strong and still strong woman. I want you to seek lesson from her because she knows what I learned from her. You know, uh, it's, it's undeniable true skill, okay? Um, she's the only woman in Paete that I respect that, and I consider as my maestra in her knees, you know? And she might deny it, but she cannot deny that I, we hang out together because we almost have the same age. Maybe she's older, maybe five years older than me, you know, not, not, to, not to mention the age, you know. If I am, if I am her age, I will court her. <laughs> I have so much cross on her when, when she was just a single. But anyway, we're both adult and have now family, you know. I'm just saying, I want you to see what I'm talking about. If, if she accepted you as a student, you will see what I'm talking about. That woman, not a joke, okay? So that's my maestra, Mirna Kadang. If you like what you hear, subscribe to my channel. Garemo Darnis, Ogat Puno Abon. Salamat again for listening. I know my students are going to have a good... Uh, a good uh, kick up the, out of this. And if, Mi, if Maestra Mir Nakadang is listening, I want you to teach. I told you when we see each other, I beg you, start teaching again. Because if you encourage me and touch my heart to teach our niece, to learn our niece, I want a lot of people to get that poison. Love you. Peace out, everybody. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Subscribe.